Hello Astro Enthusiasts! In this video I thought I would talk about my Celestron Nexstar A to C and the astrophotography that I was able to obtain using this telescope on its base altitude azimuth mount. Now I received this telescope in June of 2019 and it is now the end of June 2020. And for the first few months that I had this telescope, I did image just using this setup. And I was able to obtain some pretty interesting and pretty decent results. I, I was really blown away with the, you know, the wonders of the universe. I, I've been a visual astronomer for decades. I, I started in astronomy when I was about nine years old. And, you know, astrophotography just really gives you a whole new way to appreciate these wonderful objects in our night sky. And I, I, I was hooked with astrophotography. It's something that I always wanted to get into. And this was a great launching point. I, I recommend it to anybody who's, who's looking to just, you know, start in astrophotography. Now, when you do image with an altitude azimuth mount, it is important to be aware of field rotation. Now, as the celestial bodies move through the sky, they also rotate. And as this mount can only move up and down and left and right, it can't really compensate for the rotation of the object. So you are limited to about a 30 second max exposure. And all the photos that I'm going to show were all taken with 30 second or less exposures at varying ISOs using a DSLR camera. That's um, something else that I would like to talk about. How would you attach a DSLR camera to this kind of telescope? And there are two pieces of equipment that are needed. One is a T-ring and the other is a T-adapter. The T-ring connects to the camera body and then threads onto the T-adapter. And then the T-adapter actually just attaches to the back of the telescope and your camera will be mounted and you're ready to go. But there is one more item that's pretty important if you want to start photographing with an altitude azimuth mount and this scope, and that is a focal reducer. I do have an f6.3 focal reducer attached to the back of this telescope. And what that does is it effectively reduces the focal ratio of the scope from f10 down to f6.3. That means that what the, the object that you're looking at will be less magnified, the field of view will be a bit wider, but it also lets the telescope collect more light. So when you're shooting your exposures, you're collecting more light than you would at the native F10 focal length. And that's quite important, especially with this kind of mount. So yeah, I've just been blown away with astrophotography. I do have an equatorial mount that I put this uh, scope on now. And, you know, shooting longer exposures does make a, a dramatic difference in the photography that you can obtain. But this is a great starting point. If you've got this telescope already or another telescope on an altitude azimuth mount that tracks decently, you can take some pretty fascinating images. And I, I would just like to share with you the astrophotography that I was able to obtain. You know, it, it's, it's just amazing the wonders that we have in the night sky. They're all up there. And they're all just waiting for us to, you know, find them and observe them and appreciate them. So why don't we hop right in and look at some of the images that I was able to obtain using just this telescope and my DSLR camera. <laughs> 